Hi, Pete Moran of Shooting Sports. You know, it's a different start this time. I thought I'd start with the fun bit first so you can now switch off and not listen to me. Okay, as you probably know, uh, two, two semi-auto rifles that look like military rifles, which I call military lookalikes, cunning, um, have been very popular in the last five, six years. The Smith & Wesson, uh, all sorts, Colt Tactical, you name it, they make it. Um, this is one from the early days that is still around today. It's called the V22 from Southern Gun Co. Bob Clark runs Southern Gun Co, makes some excellent 223 straight play AR-15s. Uh, I have one myself, so I'm a fan. Um, the V22 was originally a request from an American company called Victory Arms to CZ to make a 22 semi-auto upper for a 223 AR-15. Uh, the upper you see here today is somewhat different because uh, Victory Arms are finished and I'm not absolutely certain if CZ bothered making the upper anymore. What Bob Clark does, because he produces everything in-house apart from his barrels which he buys in, uh, he has re-engineered the V22 to his vision of the gun, uh, so everything is made by him, the bolt, the, the, the upper receiver, you know, he's made it. Major differences, as you can perhaps see if you know the AR-15 reasonably well, is it's a side cocker. Every AR-15 you've got usually has a T-handle here, you pull back and release. Uh, I've always found the T-handle a bit of a pain, but the side cocker actually is quite a nice option. Um, apart from that, it's a very standard gun. Mag release on this side, you swim it round, and we have here your classic AR-15 two position safety, and the uh, automatic bolt hold open catch. Though in this case, the gun doesn't lock open at all in the last round, not even jamming the, um, the, the, the magazine platform as black dogs do. So this is purely a manual function to hold a gun open once you finish shooting. Um, the, the layout, this is the, there are two versions of this gun. This is what I call the military gun, M4, CAR-15. Has a 16 inch medium weight barrel in the military um, round four end delta ring and the classic A-frame front sight. And again, the A2 muzzle brake flash hider which makes no never mind on a 2.2. However, it's straight at half by 28 UNEF. So if you want to put a moddy on, you must be aware of that because most moddies on 2.2 rim files in the UK are half by 20 UNF. Furniture carries on with the classic A2 pistol grip, a good design, uh, perhaps not as full as the um, Magpul, but good enough. Hinge trigger guard and at the rear is a Rock River Arms style butt for the telescopic CAR-15 stock, so you can adjust your length of pull depending on what you're doing. Uh, at the rear, on top, is a Picatinny rail, a standard integral to the build. Uh, Bob here has fitted the, uh, should we say, the compact version of the A2 carry handle site, so there's no carry handle, but it's fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Um, and if you like iron sights, as I do, it's nice to have it on there. But it quickly comes off just by the screw, and you can dump on a red dot, uh, you know, a low power scope, whatever you want to, whatever you put in the thing. Um, I like the military look on these guns, um, and it certainly shoots. We've been uh, pulling some decent half inch groups at 50 yards, and not much over an inch at 100, given the optic we put on the rifle. Uh, the only thing I have found about the rifle is it's a little bit ammunition fussy. Bob told me, because I, I started testing it some time ago, um, and I was having some problems with it, and Bob said, no, he's set the gun up for the CCI mini mag, which is a, lot, which, which is a 2.2 LR uh, high velocity. This one's high velocity hollow point in this case. And the run, gun runs pretty slick with that. I think it's down to timing and the fact that uh, the bolt needs to go at a certain speed. And certainly this 2.2 mini mag does do the job. Um, as an AR-15 fan, I automatically like this thing. It's very nice. If you don't like the military look, it's not an issue because basically you can ring up Southern Gun Co, go on their website and um, they can build a free float for you. So this is worth a look if you're looking for a top end AR-15 or even something just to drop on the top of your 223. I'll see you guys later.